It is a versatile dish that can be accompanied by so many things such as rice, noodles or even mantaus. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, I would like to thank you all for helping me reach 6,000 subscribers. It's been a year since I started this journey and I'm having a fantastic time sharing all these lovely recipes with you guys. In today's video, I'll be cooking a dish called Cantonese roast duck. Without further ado, let's begin, shall we? Firstly, let's mix the white pepper powder, onion powder, ginger powder, Chinese five spice powder, chicken powder, salt and sugar together. Stir everything up well. Set it aside until it's ready to be used. Next, in a small mixing bowl, let's mix the hoisin sauce and yellow bean sauce together. Give both ingredients a good stir. Once it's done, set it aside with the seasoning mix. After that, roughly slice some ginger. Place them in a bowl, then roughly slice some garlic. Set them aside with the ginger and pop in the star anise. Now, let's prepare the bathing liquid for the duck by mixing some water with Chinese red vinegar and maltose. Then bring everything in the pot to the boil while we prepare the duck. What I've got here is a nice plum duck weighing 2.8 kilos. Let's rub the interior of the duck with the seasoning mix and the sauce that we've prepared earlier on. Carefully scoop the seasoning in. followed by the sauce. Now, let's give the duck a good rub onto its bones. Did I just hear something? <laughs> okay, once it's done here, we can stuff the ginger, garlic and star anise in now. Give the duck a final rub and make sure some of the ingredients reach to the top as well. Alright, our duck is ready to be stitched up now. 
grab the excess skin of the duck and with a metal skewer, carefully pierce into it. Then stitch up as follow. When you get towards the end, carefully poke the metal skewer into the duck's kill bone. Next, let's turn the duck over. To secure the opening of the top, carefully pierce through the bones with a metal skewer. After that, place two hooks underneath each wing of the duck. All ready, our duck is ready to be plunged in its bathing liquid. Carefully scoop the boiling Meltos water over the duck on its front. Wings, and on its back, don't forget underneath its wings as well and the sides. This duck is really heavy. We're nearly done here. Okay, lifting off to be air dried for 8 to 10 hours. So I shall see you guys on the next day. Good morning, mate. Perfectly air dried. Now our duck is ready to be sticked into the oven at 190 degrees Celsius for 60 minutes. Guys, I hope I've made this video enjoyable to watch. If yes, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Until my next video, I'm going to devour this half duck all by myself. Perfectly roasted, still moist and succulent, nice and crisp. Bye bye guys! Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, I would like to thank you all for 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 Let's begin. Ah, why is this so slippery, man? Gotcha. Ah yeah. Looks like he doesn't want to get showered. Ah yeah. Stay still, man. Oh. oh, what am I doing, man? Perfectly roasted, moist and succulent. Aya, I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. Let's just put it back. 